Um, thank you very much uh, for giving us a moment of your time this afternoon. Let's it's start with that very point. Um, there has been some consensus made in terms of certain transformative um, requirements within the Charter, but that hesitance that's expressed in that 30% BEE, um, talk us through that. Sure. Um, thanks for having me on the show. Um, firstly, we'd like to add that, I mean, you know, we do see this uh, draft of a mining charter 2018 as a really a step in the right direction. It is certainly a better document than what was released last year. Um, however, as we say, we do think there are some challenges and that really relates to whether or not it makes South Africa more competitive. Well, um, now, we, we certainly do support 30% uh, BE for new rights. The concern, I think, for us relates to some of the things like the, the free carried interest, the 10% free carried interest, 5% communities, 5% uh, um, um, workers. You know, um, we, we, we do think there are other ways of trying to uh, empower workers and communities, getting them access to maybe cash flows and benefits that won't uh, hamstrung the, you know, this fledgling company, essentially. So I think that's one of the concerns. And I think the other one relates to this 1% uh, EBITDA, um, mm -hmm. was a compulsory dividend. Um, you do know that previously there was 1% of revenue compulsory dividend, so now it's been replaced with, with this 1% EBITDA. This was certainly quite a surprise for us because that, that wasn't discussed in, 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 you know, in the in discussions that we had. And it's certainly not something that we, 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 we would support. So those are some of the challenges. And, and even though I think you know our position relating to some of the procurement numbers, yeah. Uh, um, yes, we support local local procurement, local manufacturing, but to set such high targets uh, to start with is a, is a bit of a challenge for us. So, so there's some areas that we are certainly in support with and some that, that, that are not, and we're hoping that uh, it's still a draft. We can still impact it in terms of um, making changes through, the, through our input. So, yeah, we, we're going to certainly take that up with the DMR. Um, listening to you right now, I do get the sense that uh, maybe you did talk about certain things and other things you're oblivious to. They just came out in the paper and uh, you actually see the white paper and you're surprised as we are. Um, that is one aspect that I want you to actually comment on. The other is regarding uh, the, the WTO because GATS and uh, GATT, uh, the general argument on trade and tariffs, you do get the sense that this procurement uh, policy might actually uh, cause a very long wrangle uh, in the midterm. Uh, just give me a sense of these two points. Sure. I think relating to the areas that weren't covered, I mean, um, the, the, you know, going to 30% on existing rights, essentially topping up from 26 mm. now to, you know, to, to 26 to 30. Um, it's certainly some, one thing that, that was not agreed on. And, and in fact, we had pretty much thought that we were settled on, you know, leave existing rights as they are. Uh, people have invested um, certainly for life of so mine. So you're as surprised as we are. Yes, in that regard <laughs> we are. <laughs> Unfortunately there. And uh, so we certainly don't support that um, relating to existing rights. Um, yes, I mean, I, I think in within the previous charter too, we did uh, provide comment that uh, some of the provisions might be infringing some of these international yeah. uh, uh, what is it, trade treaties, I guess yes. that's, uh, that's what one refers to. So, uh, we, so we're busy reviewing this document, um, now the current uh, 2018 mining charter. You'll probably find that it does fall foul of some of those uh, as it's drafted. Right. Now, you speak about these concerns, and I want to play devil's advocate for a moment because I'm thinking to myself, I think the minister may be finding himself in a catch-22 position because he wants to be making the industry happy and sustainable in terms of growth and economic um, contribution. But also we need to finalize this transformation within the sector debate. How do we create that balance then? Yeah, look, I mean, I think it is, it is certainly quite a delicate balance and the minister's got a difficult job. It's certainly not easy. But I think, you know, you know we're, we're talking about a mining sector. If you look at it now, half of our gold production is in the red. 70% of our platinum production is in the red. We, you know, some commodity prices are picking up, but this is a sector that is struggling. You know, this is a sector that needs uh, some relief to be made a lot more competitive so that it can create jobs. Because remember, without the jobs being there, there is no transformation. So yes. you've almost got to prioritize uh, having a, a, a charter that makes South Africa a lot more competitive. 
so that we can actually have jobs and then advance also transformation. So, the, the, you know, these three th kind of like go together, but it's absolutely critical, I think, to get a charter that makes South Africa a lot more competitive because we need those jobs. Right. And are you confident that with these negotiations that are going on after this draft, that those changes are going to be made and a way forward finally will come with a charter that, you know, the industry can be confident in? I, I think we are, I, I like to use the term cautiously optimistic. Um, we really do hope that uh, they will listen to some of our input. And, 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 you know, we really have tried to put alternatives on the table. It's not as if we've just been obstructive. I mean, we've tried to suggest in terms of uh, communities getting uh, shares. We've tried to say, well, what about looking at some kind of profit sharing or, or benefit sharing in lieu of ownership? And this is also in addition to the social and labor plan commitments that we have. And, and clearly we know that this is always in addition to the skills development, that the money that we put in skills development, about seven billion, um, the royalties that we pay on an alien basis, about six billion. So the, the industry, I think, is playing its bit. Uh, we, are, we are playing our role. We, we just hope that the minister will come to the party, and I think, I think he will.